Thank you for watching Dakota Cowboy here on Beck TV, presented to you each and every week by Dakota Community Bank and Trust. We greatly appreciate you watching each Sunday evening. We really, really do. Thank you. Thank you so much. Looking forward to some warmer weather just around the corner and summertime when there's barbecues and picnics and the cows and the calves are out in the summer pasture getting fat and rodeos and two in particular, the Kildare Mountain Roundup Rodeo in Kildare, North Dakota. They are an inductee into the North Dakota Cowboy Hall of Fame and this year they will be celebrating their 100th anniversary. There's going to be some partying going on in Kildare this summer for sure. Also, Mandan Rodeo Days, and if you're a fan of Dakota Cowboy and you've been watching, you know that in Mandan, the Dale Palkey Arena has been under construction for some time now. And we've learned that both at the Kilder Mountain Roundup Rodeo, as well as Mandan Rodeo Days, the musical entertainment will be provided by none other than singer, songwriter, saddle bronc rider from Moorcroft, Wyoming, Chansey Williams. Some exciting times for Chansey right now. They've got a new album out. They've got an exciting date coming up in April, along with June and July for Mandan and Kildare, and so much more. And we had some time to sit down with Chansey and have a little conversation about things and the, the summer events coming up and more. So without further ado, our good friend, Chansey Williams. Hey, I look outside and it's about eight degrees and we've got about 90 feet of snow out there with more coming down. But you know, any day that you get to talk to Chansey Williams is a good day. Hello, my friend. Good to see you. <laughs> yeah, well, thanks for having me on. How are you doing today? Doing wonderful. Doing good. Doing good. Where did we catch you at? Are you in uh, at home in Wyoming or? Yep. Yep, I'm Moore in Wyoming. Crop, We're right? headed Moore for crop, uh, Arizona Wyoming. tomorrow. Okay, all right. Yeah. The yeah. Uh, the video for Rodeo Cold Beer, that's home in, in Wyoming, right? That's mom and dad in there, and that's the home place? Yep, we shot that uh, at the ranch one day. We happened to be home, and they sent a the old film crew out, and we shot it there at the ranch. Thought it was a good, pretty good spot to film that one. Yeah, good one. Very appropriate, very appropriate. I'm I'm thinking here, you know, I'm thinking it's a pretty short list of anybody who has uh, competed at Cheyenne Frontier Days and also performed on the big stage at night. And you are definitely on that list. And uh, uh, having said that, tell us a little bit about your saddle bronc riding career. Well, you know, I grew up on a ranch in Moorcroft, Wyoming. So we grew up rodeoing ever since we were little, little me and my brothers and, you know, my dad rodeoed. So it kind of followed in his footsteps. You know, dad won Cheyenne in 1971 and, you know, was a successful bronc rider and bareback rider. And we rode it all growing up, started riding broncs when I was about, oh, probably freshman high school and uh, rode it all through high school, made the high school national finals one time and then got a rodeo scholarship, went on to Casper College to, to ride bucking horses and rodeo there at Casper College for three years, made the college finals one time there and then. Did my fourth year, uh, my senior year, rodeoing down at the University of Wyoming in Laramie and made the finals that year, too. And then after college, rodeoed for a couple of years and uh, kind of at the same time I was starting to play music. So uh, it all kind of overlapped there a little bit. You obviously got your PRCA car, too, uh, you know, for competing in Cheyenne and uh, some of the other pro rodeos, I'm sure, too, huh? Yeah. Yeah, it, it was fun. Uh, you know, I, I miss rodeo and it was a lot of fun, but I figured I could probably play music and sing a lot longer than I could ride bucking horses. So, <laughs> so having said that, I made it. okay. So, so having said that, are you done riding bucking horses? Yeah, competitively, you know, back at home, you know, once in a while we get on some of the buck, but uh, uh -huh. definitely not in a bronc saddle anymore. You know, <laughs> it'd sure be fun to get on one here and there and just to see how it felt again. But it's one of those sports that if you if you're not in it and training for it all the time, it's a pretty good way to get hurt just jumping back in so i i figure for my music career and the rest of my band to stay afloat working i better stay off bucking horses and the music career going quite well you've got a new album coming out friday march 24th and uh in april in about uh about, i think the 22nd you're going to be performing at the grand Ole opry uh chancy you're you're at the grand Ole opry you're standing in that circle have you imagined yourself in that uh, in that spot? Uh, what's it going to be like? What do you think? Yeah, you know, it, it hasn't really sank in. You know, we're super excited to get the call to make our Grand Old Opry debut. So we're 
we're over the moon excited, but you know, it hasn't really sank in. And I think, I think it will when we get there that day, but just the thought of, yeah, standing in that circle where all the greats over time, all through country music have stood and sang. It's going to be unbelievable. It's one of those milestones in music that everybody, you know, strives to achieve that, uh, that guest appearance on the grand old opera and it's finally coming true. So I, I, I guess I never thought it would actually happen, but we're excited that it is happening. <laughs> Merle Haggard st stood in that circle. George Jones stood in that circle. Chancey Williams is going to stand in that circle. And uh, gosh, it's just got to be so darn exciting. And uh, have you, are you, are you going to perform songs off the new album or uh, have you, have you figured out what you're going to play at the, at the Grand Ole Opry? Well, we, we get to do two being the, the, it's our debut. They give you two songs and the Opry was nice enough to let me use my whole band. You know, typically when you, when you do your debut, they make you play with the Opry band who are all some of the best players in the world, which we would have done, but you know, my band helped me get me there and we all kind of got there together. So they were nice enough to let us use the whole band. And we've been throwing a few songs around, you know, maybe one off one of the older albums, maybe one off one of the new albums. We just, we haven't quite nailed it down. We've got to narrow it down to about four or five. We're going to have to try to sort through and figure out which ones we're going to do next. Okay, we'll get to the new album here in just a second. But uh, talk about your band. I mean, uh, your fiddle player. You are blessed. Brooke is an amazing fiddle player. Uh, she's got, you can tell she's got the attitude for it. She's got the, the talent. Was she classically trained? Yeah, Brooks played violin since she was about, she started when she was about five. So she was classically trained all growing up and then learned how to fiddle basically when she joined us. So mm -hmm. she's a, she's a different type of fiddle player. You know, some of them are kind of fast, and a little sloppy, but you know, she, her, her, her tone and pitch is so good that we're, we're blessed to have her. She makes us look good. And then, you know, Wyatt's been with me a long time too on lead guitar. And then I'm just blessed to have such the band I have. Everybody still hungry for it and works really hard. And uh, this band we have right now, a couple of guys are new within the last couple of years. So, I mean, it, it, it's definitely the best band I've ever had right now put together. And it's uh, some of the old with some of the new is a really nice combo. Well, tell Brooke that we figured out that uh violin is culture and a fiddle is agriculture. <laughs> I think she I fits like that, that circle. <laughs> yeah, I've never heard it put that way. I'll have to tell her that one. I've, I've heard right. it a lot of different ways, but that's a good one. You worked with Trent Willman on uh, this new album uh, coming out on March 24th. I want you to, uh, next time you talk to Trent, tell him there's an old disc jockey from North Dakota that played the heck out of Broken In, played the heck out of Beer Man, played the heck out of Dixie Rose Deluxe. You know, and having said those songs and, you know, the little that I know about Trent William and the little I know about you, I see a perfect blend of uh of style i see a perfect blend of attitude i think it was a uh how did that come to be your relationship with trent willman your producer on the new album yeah well trent this is actually the third he did rodeo cold beer album and third street and then this, so this is the third we did together so you know the albums i had prior to trent i like good enough but then i i just called trent one day i never knew him i just tracked down his number and cold called him and said you know I'm a ranch kid from Wyoming. I was going to see if I could have him produce an album. He said, sure thing. Flew me down. I stay at his house. I still stay at his house. And we just clicked, you know, Trent's a cowboy from West Texas. One of the only cowboys in Nashville, really, that writes and produces. I mean, there's a few other cowboys around, but Trent and I hit it off really good. So we wrote, I, I, I co-wrote uh, 11 of the 12 songs on this album, and nine of them were with Trent just because we – we think the same, we grew up the same, we act the same. So like we're a good fit to write together and we, we sing about stuff about people out West and rodeos and Western way of life. So he's, he's definitely a good fit for me and I'm glad I found him. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, I can, I can hear Chancey Williams singing uh, broken in. I don't know if that would ever come up, but I could, I could definitely see you doing that song if it ever. Oh, I love that song. That, yeah. that Dixie Rose. That song's great too, and Rope and Pen. He's got so many good ones; it's hard to list. But yeah, he's, it's really been fortunate to be able to work with him. I bet, I bet. And uh, you know, um, we got you came on our radar. I've been looking for an excuse to talk to, to you for some time. I've known Dean Kenny for a while, your manager. And uh, oh I've, yeah, 
I've been wanting to hook up with you for a while now, and I found the perfect opportunity. I went to high school in Kildare, North Dakota, home of the Kildare Cowboys, and you are going to be there for the 100th anniversary of the Kildare Mountain Roundup Rodeo. Yeah, I think so. You know, we're we're excited about throwing, you know, the Kildare, the rodeo committee's been, they called for the last couple of years and said, we want you in 2023, which, you know, sometimes it was 2020 or 2021. It seems like a long way off. You're like, man, I, yeah. I hope we can do it. I don't know where we're going to be. And they finally tracked us down and nailed it down. But we, for one, we love playing rodeos. And, uh, you know, while I'm in Montana, North and South Dakota, they're all our type people. So to be able to play the hundredth to kill deer, is going to be a lot of fun. I'm sure we'll know a lot of people there. And uh, it seems like a, I've never been to that one, but they said it's a great rodeo. So we're, we're excited to play that one. It's the oldest professional sporting event in the, the great state of North Dakota. They're inducted into the North Dakota Cowboy Hall of Fame. And uh, it's quite fitting for the 100th that they have you performing there. Are you, do you Have you heard, are you going to be performing in the arena? I'm not quite sure where they're having the concert at. It, it could be in the arena. It could be right after right beside i'm not sure but uh sounds like they, they got her all lined up so yeah. wherever they want us will be okay now the program that we're we're on dakota cowboy on beck tv we're uh, sponsored by dakota community bank and trust and their ceo and uh, general manager the owner of the, the company is a guy by the name of dale palky in mandan they are constructing the dale palky arena um, where you're going to be. I do believe, I think it's quite possible that you are going to be the first person to perform there coming up on the 1st of July. So we definitely want to throw a plug in for Dakota Community Bank and Trust and Dale Polky and you uh, being there. I've been through Mandana, I never rode there, but man, that sounds awesome. We always love when we're the first to be able to play a stage. And we, we knew that was going to be a fun one in Mandan. We got a lot of friends in the area, so... Man, I, I hope we're the first to get to play on that stage. That's going to be pretty special. I think it's quite possible. I, I'll double check on that. And we're, uh, we're hoping to get together with you again before the uh, when we get a little bit closer to summer here. And then I'm hoping to also chat with you either in Kildare or Mandan and uh, get your thoughts and, uh, and uh, just keep, on, uh, keep our foot on the gas on this Chancey Williams deal. That old saddle bronc rider from Wyoming. Gosh, it's good to talk to you. And we got a lot of ground. Oh, with man, you. thanks. Thank you, Chancey. We appreciate you spending some time with us here on Dakota Cowboy. And thank you for doing your part to assure that the world has more cowboys. Chancey Williams. Little fun. Debuting their new single, The World Needs More Cowboys, from the Cowboys State of Wyoming, Chancey Williams and the Younger Brothers Band. On the silver screen, but they're still around. Those hard to steal, shoot you straight and never back down. Yeah, Willie, I sure do hate to disagree, but I think a few more mamas ought to let their babies grow up to be one. Cause the world needs more cash. Toughest cowboys I ever met were cowgirls And I bet there'd be less people pushing people around these days If we had a few more captain calls and guns with craze Yeah, the world needs more cowboys A few more people who Be
Well, if that song doesn't light your fire, then your wood is wet. <laughs> That's Chancey Williams, and the world needs more cowboys. It's an exciting time for Chancey and his band as they're performing at the Grand Ole Opry. And it's a great time for us, too, here in North Dakota, as we're looking forward to seeing Chansey in Kildare and in Mandan later on this summer. Chansey Williams, find him wherever you find good music. Yeah, we love Chansey here on Dakota Cowboy, and we will be seeing him again soon. Just ahead, we'll take you to the North Dakota Cowboy Hall of Fame and the Hall of Honorees Inductee of the Week, and that would be the North Dakota Stockman's Association. That and more coming up on Dakota Cowboy, presented by Dakota Community Bank and Trust.